So I really like to use ChargePoint because uh, it's pretty convenient and also the summary of the information on my uh, app includes my home charger. So I get a total summary of my charging uh, cost monthly and, and usage. So it's pretty simple to use. Just uh, do your tag and unlocks. Bring it over to the vehicle. And uh, here I added a little plug to plug the uh, high voltage charging points in case it starts to rain. It's the added protection because I'm using my uh, simplified port covers. Plug it in and hopefully, there we go, I'm starting to charge. The other advantage is uh, I really like the display. It tells me how much power I'm getting. Uh, simple display and the charging rates. This one in particular is uh, free charging for two hours, so that's very convenient too. At home, I've got the uh, ChargePoint home charger. Uh, it's the uh, 30 amp unit that uh, I actually picked up off of Amazon. It did not have a cable attached to it. Um, this is actually a dryer cable, 30 amp dryer cable that I connected to an unused, uh, actually 40 amp service dryer connection in the garage, uh, which I used because I actually have a gas dryer that I'm using, so it was just sitting idle. So I made for a fairly inexpensive uh, installation because of that. Also, I've got a smoke detector above it in case there's any problem. Um, it's Again, it's the uh, Wi-Fi enabled charger, so the or smart charger, so the information is available online and through my uh, phone app as well. I should also add that because it's uh, Wi-Fi enabled, that allows you to turn it on and turn it off remotely by uh, time settings on your app. So even though the, the car itself has the uh, sunset of the 3G network, it still allows to have uh, timed charging and also monitoring of the charge by the uh, ChargePoint app anyway. So it's one way to bypass the problem with the sunsetting of the 3G. So in the app, if you pick the uh, home charger as one of your options, you can see that you have scheduling. You can have it remind you to plug in, and all, there's also Siri options as well. Uh, you can also filter it to select uh, free chargers or fast DC charges, and I typically use the uh, free charger selection because, as you can see here with that filter on, there are many, many free charging locations in the Bay Area, which uh, it makes sense to try to take advantage of those if you can. Of course, if you can't take advantage of them, there's many normal uh, pay-to-use chargers around in the you know, many, by the way. Uh, you can also do the scheduling, as I mentioned, and it allows you to uh, optimize your, your charging at home to use the low-cost charging options if they're available in your area. So, uh, And you can do that remotely with the Wi-Fi app. Uh, it also tracks the amount of uh, power going into your car, so you can monitor that whether it's a home charger, or whether you're uh, using uh, a pay charger or even a free charger out in the wild to, to monitor what's going on with your car. One of the other things that's really uh, useful is the uh, monitoring ability <clears throat> or summary monitoring ability to look at how much power or how much cost you've accrued over uh, many months time in a graphical form. So you can do it both um, in a bar chart like this or in the earlier month to month chart, looking at how much you've charged at home, how much you've charged uh, out in the wild and what the total costs are and total power usage. So that's really useful to know if you're optimizing your charging or not. So there's other networks available. Volta is one of them that I, I really like as well. It's a free charging network that you should take advantage of if you can. So in summary, the uh, ChargePoint <coughs> Wi-Fi enabled 32 amp charger works really well with the at least the older i3s. I've had this one for over four years and have no problems. I bought it actually used on Amazon uh, for 300 bucks and it's worked really well. It allows monitoring both remotely, uh, the scheduling of charging sessions, uh, which is really useful now that I can't do it through the car directly with the sun setting of the 3G networks. Um, there's many free chargers on the network, and uh, there's also many more uh, pay-for-you power 
chargers available. And it's just overall has been very convenient and pretty trouble free to uh, use as uh, a charging point both at home and uh, in the field. As always, uh, thanks for watching. And if you have some interesting information with regards to your favorite charger or charging locations, please add it to the comments below. Thanks.